Also tonight, is an eviction crisis looming here in western New York? Well, one Buffalo lawmaker says yes, as Erie County now ranks first in the state for eviction warrants this year. We've shared Councilmember Rashid Wyatt's concerns with you over the last several weeks, but tonight we are going in depth on possible solutions here. In a letter to the governor earlier this month, Wyatt says evictions are on the rise ever since a COVID era moratorium expired early last year. Statewide numbers were nearly four times higher in 2022 compared to the year before. And through the first 10 weeks of 2023, more than 2,500 Erie County neighbors have received an eviction warrant. Solutions for this problem tend to be tenant focused, but are there approaches that could protect both neighbors and landlords? 7 News anchor reporter Taylor Epps spoke with a local landlord about possible solutions here and joins us live outside two of their properties tonight. Taylor. Well, Jeff, I learned a lot today about what it's like to be a landlord here in Buffalo. I talked to the man who owns both of these properties on either side of me. He says he has some great tenants who live here and who always pay their rent. But he says this property a little bit more of a problem for him, a bit of a fixer upper, and it's rising in costs. And between those rising costs and negative attitudes toward landlords, he's fed up. Well, the word landlord is now a bad word. We're supposed to say property owner. I feel that tenants are getting all of the attention while our needs are being left behind. The continuing housing crisis is raising alarms with evictions going up statewide. According to Council Member Rashid N.C. Wyatt, Erie County is leading the state in evictions so far this year with more than 2,000. Have you had to evict anybody? Not for a while. Thank God. Ayan Yeves has owned properties in Buffalo since he was 19. He now has eight units across the Queen City, but tells me the pandemic was rough and the eviction moratorium forced him to sell one of his properties. It became immensely unprofitable. The tenant didn't pay. I just couldn't afford to continue to maintain the property without receiving rent. He raises rents every few years to keep up with rising costs. He says his building and labor costs are up 30 to 50 percent compared to pre-pandemic. Roofs that used to cost me 12 are now costing me 18. Um, and I felt that when I had to pay 50% more for the same roof, it was hard. Stop painting us as a bad guy. Let's work together. Wyatt says that's exactly what he wants to do. And that's what I want to hear from the governor. And I hope that she'll support us in looking at ways of how we help those mom and pop landlords who are suffering as well as tenants who are really under stress. Nieves says most, if not all of his tenants are under stress and low income, and it's not about the rent. They need access to better quality jobs and job training that would help them because if you're only making, what was it? 20 24,000 a year, the rent's always going to be too damn high. The utility is always going to be too high. It's just going to be difficult for everyone. Wyatt says we need more resources. Nieves says it's deeper than that. I don't think it's enough to fix it. I think the federal government will have to step in. Uh, for example, I've told the city of Buffalo they should educate both parties about the resources available to them. Landlords and tenants need each other, and we both need housing education and access to resources to stabilize housing. Yeves says he wishes there was more information out there about the programs that can help both landlords and tenants. And we're actually going to have some of those listed for you on our website and this story on WKBW.com. But in the meantime, Yeves tells me if nothing changes here, he is done with Buffalo. He'll sell both of these properties here on Florida Street and actually move to the state of Florida for better treatment for landlords and some nicer weather. Jeff. All right, our Taylor Epps live tonight in Buffalo. Thank you tonight, Taylor.